Welcome to a Vision Lab. Today we'll be looking at the of visual influence in the unit of situational factors in media. AQAS psychology. So situational variables. Mukma had three situational variables. The first one being proximity. And this is when the learner and the teacher were placed in the same room and it was found that obedience decreased from 65% to 40%. In the second variation, the teacher forces the learner's hand on an electric shock plate when the learner does not answer the question. 30% obedience was found. In the third variation, the experimenter was not in the same room and gave instructions to the teacher over the phone. 20.5% abuse was seen and the teacher attended to administer electric shocks. The second situational variable was location. So the experiment was run in a rundown building instead of Yale University. And so the experimenter had less authority and so 47.5% obedience was seen. The third situational variable was uniform. In the original study, the experimenter always wore a grey lab coat because it was a symbol of authority. This time round, the experiment was the experimenter was called away by an inconvenient phone call at the beginning of the procedure. And so the role of an experimenter was, was carried out by a member of public who was a confederate in daily clothing. Obedience was 20%. Evaluation is strength is that there was good control over variables because one variable was changed at a time to see its impact on obedience, increasing scientific credibility and validity. Another strength is that there is research support because Bickman in 1974 did a field experiment in New York where three confederates were dressed with a jacket and a tie, a milkman's outfit, security guard's outfit. They stood on the street and asked people to do many different things, for example pick up rubbish, give a coin to put in the parking meter, and it was found that the security guard was obeyed most of the time, just like Milgram suggested, because uniform shows authority, increasing reliability. However, a weakness is that there is a lack of internal validity because the participants may have realised the procedure was fake as a result of extra manipulation, for example, the experimenter being replaced by a member of public. Thus, the results may not be due to obedience at the par as the participants may be playing along, acting as, demand characteristic, acting as a demand characteristic. Another weakness is that there is population bias because the experiment was done in America and so the findings can't really be generalised because they're not representative of obedience in different countries around the world. In our next video we will look at social psychological factors involved in obedience. But before then make sure you've made your notes on what we've covered so far. Remember to revise, rest, test and repeat yourself. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram. Thank you to Canva because I made these slides using their templates. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, press the bell icon on our channel, Revision Hub. Thank you so much.